What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller, and we are hot off the heels of an absolutely incredible, it was trending all night long, oh, yeah. Slammiversary this past weekend in Windsor. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. It, we have to start with the main event. It was incredible. It was Nick Aldis. He was challenging Alex Shelley for the Impact World Championship. So let's take a look back at that right now and what went down after. Shelley now starting to feel the momentum here. The energy from the crowd here in his second home. Well, went for the super kick. Now Aldis once again. Is he thinking about the Kingsland Cloverleaf trying to step through? Think about the damage done to the fingers, however, and the legs. Can he turn it over? I just didn't have the strength. Didn't have the strength to turn it over. Oh, no, there's so much grip strength needed Hold for on. that. Wait, wait, wait. What a figure four. Shoulders down. Shelly couldn't get him. Shelly's plan for now seeming to have worked. Oh, it's oh. slowly spread by Shelly into the cover. Be? Pressing the shoulders down. Oh, and a, no, wait a minute. Border oh. City stretch. Beautiful transition from the Impact World Champion there. Wait. Oh, shoulders down. Shoulders down. And a kick out there by Shelly. And now going again. To the Cloverleaf, but no! Oh, oh, wait a minute, and it's Shelly's grabbing at the injured left hand, the fingers! I thought it was just the pressure of the move, but Shelly latched on to the wrist and the fingers. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got him split here. Oh, oh and the small joint manipulation by Shelly! Oh, now once again, he's going for slice bread, this time out of the corner. Oh, right. caught, caught by Elvis. Oh, and the pile driver. Cover, do we have a new champion and a kick out? The strength of Aldis nearly brought him home the gold, but he looks to follow up here. Aldis up top. Oh, oh, drop. Is that it? Take a look one more time. The elbow perfectly planted across the throat, but somehow the champ stays in it. Oh, wait a minute, and now Aldis has grabbed the Impact World title belt here at the ringside. Maybe looking to repeat history a little bit here. I mentioned it before, oh. he's hit. Shelly in the face with that belt twice. Wait, wait, wait. How frustrated is Shelly, though, that all this introduced that? Shelly, you can't do it. You'll get disqualified. Oh, and a low blow. That should be a disqualification. The official didn't see it. Right time. He was positive. He had found the moment to strike. But somehow, the heart of the champion still beats. And wait, one more time. Aldis grabs the title. Oh, wait a minute. Trying to hit Shelly with the title again. Shelly, oh! The DDT onto the belt. And now it's maybe Aldis who made the mistake. Super kick. It's busted open. Oh, is it time? Shell shock. Got him. Shelly closes the book on all this. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still Impact World Champion, Alex Shelly. What a battle for the Impact World Championship. But Tom, consider my points from the early parts of this matchup null and void. Alex Shelley has answered the challenge. Stays a top impact wrestling as the champion, the franchise player in this company. Wait the hell up! Josh Alexander 
has returned! The two-time Impact World Champion! And goes right eye to eye with the current champion. I'm back. Yeah! Alex Shelley is holding the championship that Josh Alexander was never beaten for. Who is the real face of this generation? Two simple words from Josh Alexander. I'm back. Alex Shelley is still your Impact World Champion, but Josh Alexander returns. Who knows what the future holds for those two, and who knows what the future holds for all of us here in Impact Wrestling. I'll tell you what's still to come here on BTI. We've got singles action, Crazy Steve versus Alan Angels. But up next, we have more highlights from Slammiversary when BTI rolls on after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone. We are looking back at the incredible night that was Slammiversary this past weekend in Windsor, Ontario at St. Clair College. And we showed you the main event. We showed you the return of Josh Alexander. But how about how the night began? One of my all-time favorite matches. Oh, yeah. It's Ultimate X. It was a crazy one. It was all over the place. We saw the return of Jake something. But who would come out on top? Let's find out. And I think if I'm correct, for the first time, somebody is now attempting to scale over to the X. Yes, is now out on these cables. Kevin Knight trying to rip him down. Kicks right to the face here by Angels. This is where grip strength becomes a real challenge. That's right. There's Kevin Knight. Whoa. Boy, look out. What is this? Oh! Angel saw Knight coming to disrupt his plans. Decided to drop down and give him that poison run instead. What a way to begin Slammiversary, a match you will see nowhere else in pro wrestling. Ultimate X. Angels was looking to maybe scale once again, but Gresham now back into the fray. Angels holding on to the trust oh, there. Oh, and a low blow again. There's no disqualifications. Angels has taken that fact, taken that ruling, and played it very well to his advantage so far. And look at this. Jake something got hit in the back with six chair shots, thanks to Allen Angels, and something keeps on moving. You see the way he collided oh. with Angels and just shoved him into the truss. This is right in front of us. Angels' face smashed into the steel truss. And now something's going up. Something looking up there again. To your point earlier, Jake Stone's a strong man, but that's a lot of weight to hold on those cables. 260 pounds. Look, Look at, at the that. cable bend. Something trying to get to the X. Like a human oh. gorilla. But oh, once again. Angels goes low and now looks to climb high. It's a lot of that in impact lately. No kidding. And now look at Kushida. Kushida going out onto the cable. Crawling, using his legs as well. Smart strategy. Angels makes his climb too. Kushida's closer. Kushida's closer to the expo. Remember the arm, the damage to the arm done with the arm bar by Bailey. That's right. The grip starting to give maybe a little bit. Oh! Another low blow Good from Lord, Angels. Now we're a cup for Ultimate X. 
doing what he's got to do, the desperation of Angels here. Oh! And down goes Angels! And then there was one! Kushida! Kushida trying to unhook the X! This is the tough part here. Can he get it? He's yeah. unhooked the X! He's got to get down to the canvas! Kushida's got to get down to the canvas! Kushida's got to drop all the way down to the canvas! There Kushida. it is! Incredible way to kick off Slammiversary here. So congratulations goes to Kushida as he wins Ultimate X, grabs that red X, and now Kushida can challenge for the X Division Championship anytime he chooses. He just has to let everybody know, and then he'll have an opportunity for the X Division Championship. But who is the X Division Champion? Chris Sabin was all set to defend his title at Slammiversary against Leo Rush, and this one still has everybody talking. He is the picture of longevity and consistency. But I do have to question what broke oh, oh, Wait a minute! Rush going after Saban! The bell's not rung yet! Oh, oh my God! God. Like a torpedo, much like the way Leo Rush exploded into Impact Wrestling here, has now just nearly eliminated Chris Saban before this match has even begun. As Saban is down, the official is checking on him. And to your point, Rush catching Saban off guard weeks ago on Access TV, and now catching Saban off guard on his entrance. Let me know, come on, I can end this, Saban. I don't think you should. Saban, 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 Saban! Oh, 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 my God, Saban just pushed away our ringside, uh, I can't believe that, our red, uh, ringside position. So you heard the referee saying, I, I got to talk to him to make sure, and Saban is still crawling. I, I don't think this is a good idea, Tom. This is against the physician's recommendation. The doctor's saying he shouldn't go, but the bell is as oh, wrong. God. This match is underway. This match is official. And, and Tom, just oh like God. that, Saban's down again. Didn't even get his jacket off this time. And I mean, to the point earlier, Leo Rush came into Impact Wrestling, jumped Chris Saban. Got Chris Saban so worked up to the point where Saban was the one who challenged Rush to a championship matchup. That rarely happens. And now, once again, maybe Saban's too worked up. He's got too much pride on the line. Oh Look my out. God, I'm like, oh, what a kick by Rush. Saban is defenseless. Our physician on the outside here is looking for him. He did not want Saban to do this matchup to compete here. Oh, now Rush. The final hour off the top. You gotta be kidding me. Leo, oh, oh wait a minute, a kick out by Chris Saban. Signs of life from Saban. Maybe instinct. Just kicking in there for Saban. Guts of a thousand men in the X Division champion, but how much can he take? Rush determined, goes up for another one, a second final hour, cover! Leo Rush what? wins the X Division title! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new X Division champion, Leo Rush! Listen, I, I understand that Chris Saban is a proud man and a proud champion, that he wanted to defend the title here tonight, but against doctor's orders, he continued anyway and competed when this was Rush jumping him from the get-go. Well, it looks like we have a new X Division champion in Leo Rush. I, I can't even wrap my head around this. Everyone absolutely shocked at the outcome of that matchup, and we'll see what Chris Sabin does next as it relates to Leo Rush becoming the new X Division champion. Speaking of things coming up next, well, we've got plenty more coming up right here on BTI as Alan Angels will go one on one with Crazy Steve in just a little bit. But up next, more highlights from Slammiversary. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we continue to look back at the amazing night that was Slammiversary. We talked about the World Championship, the X Division Championship, but how about a tag team match that 
it started with four guys, then it sort of morphed and changed. We had a special enforcer in Darren McCarty, sure. but we didn't know who was going to be Scott Demore's tag team partner. Bully Ray on Busted Open announced that Diener would be his partner, yep. and then we got a huge shocker. Oh, yeah, that's just how quickly things can change here in Impact yeah, Wrestling. I'm going to have a new co-host for ETI next week. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. But you Kevin, have to pay close attention. Can you imagine attention. me and Kevin Martin hosting the show? Um, I have a feeling that wouldn't last very uh, long. No, uh, half a segment, and I'd fire him. But let's, yeah. let's get back to yeah, the yeah, action, yeah. because you didn't want to miss a moment of it. Scott Demore had a partner in none other than Eric Young. Eric Young doesn't want it. Disqualify him now. What the hell? The referee's had enough of this match. He's had enough of Bully Ray. He doesn't want to be bullied around, pushed around. Oh, wait a second. Darren McCarty is throwing on the stripes. The special enforcer is now the special referee. I'd ask if this is legal, but I guess he's the one who makes the decision now. Oh, <laughs> Our bully Ray made an enemy out of Darren McCarty in this city back at Sacrifice in March. I now I guess with McCarty as the referee, this match continues. Uh, I'm very curious to see what rules he enforces. I have to imagine uh, the terms referee's Ooh. leniency will be applied a lot here. to imagine the crowd with a full rendition of O Canada lifting the spirits of Scott Demore, allowing the opening here. And a tag made, it's Eric Young to meet Dieter. His former protege in the former violent by design thought he put an end oh. to EY, clearly. It did not come to pass as Eric Young makes his return here to the impact zone with force. Oh, what a clothesline. Oh, oh what a shot to Bully Ray. And now Eric Young targeting Diener, running over a pile driver. Got it! Oh. Diener bouncing off the canvas. Cover! Oh, and Khan pulling McCarty out of the ring of the cover. The match continues. And now Khan's into the ring. Oh, look out. Should have known that this one was going to break down quick. Oh, wait, hold on, Tom! Wait up! A1 gets Khan! <laughs> Team Canada Chaos at Slammiversary! Shenanigans are in here, though. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, uh, let's do it. Let's I mean, do it. I know he deserves it. He deserves this one. For the first time, I'm going to agree with you. Give it to him, Bob. Some more off the top. Demore's loving it at ringside. And listen, with McCarty as the special referee and enforcer, the, the rules have been now uh, and you flexible. Want to, you want to talk about what Bully Ray deserves. I mean, at this point, he's put Scott Demore through enough tables to warrant a few receipts. And out comes the hardware. McCarty is helping Zamora set up the table. He's a referee. Well, McCarty know as well knows what it's like to get put through a table by Bully Ray. Everybody wants their pound of flesh. Time for some payback, Bully. Oh, and load it up. Through the table. Oh, now, wait a minute. Look at Diener. Diener sliding in with the hockey stick and flag. 
I'll charge him to more. Hold on. Oh, is it time? He wants it. Canadian Destroyer! Got all of it. Demore's move. He invented. And look out! Justice, as you watch here, Demore Boom. with the Canadian Destroyer Adiner. And then Eric Young leaping over the fallen body of Bully Ray, puts an elbow through the heart of Diener for the one, two, three. And now A1 climbs into the ring. A Team Canada reunion at Slammiversary in Windsor. Got to say that Bully and Diener got exactly what was coming to them in that matchup. Speaking of matches, the Knockouts World Championship was on the line. Deanna Barrasso one-on-one -on -one with Trinity. Who would leave Slammiversary as the Knockouts World Champion? The first signs of frustration gracing the face of the Virtuosa. Oh! Two who've watched each other from afar, learning each other up close. Oh! oh! Face first into the canvas! Incredible athleticism from the challenger here. The split leg and moonsault to the back. Rolls over Perrazzo. Cover. No, oh, and a kick out by the Virtuosa. Oh, face first into the mat went Perrazzo. Trinity trying to get back in this thing and immediately followed it up with this beautiful split leg and moonsault. But the Virtuosa stays alive the back and forth contest really picking up steam and now trinity has got a chance here against perrazzo perrazzo out to the apron Oh, she sets Perrazzo up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and Perrazzo did her homework. Has seen Trinity pull that off here in Impact many times. Oh. Bring it back in this ring. Now, both wrestlers out on no man's land there. The apron. Oh, wait. You got to be kidding me. Oh. Queen's Gambit on the hardest part of the ring. Good God. Trinity. Trinity is out, Tom. Uh, and look at the urgency here from Perrazzo. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg. It's a dive. Oh. Trinity kicked. You have got to be kidding me. Barrazzo is shocked that this right here Boom. did not end things. The Queen's Gambit on the apron, but somehow, some way, Trinity stays alive. Maybe those precious seconds between the apron and the center of the ring go for the cover, save Trinity. Just enough time to get a shoulder up at the last second. And now Perrazzo, you can really feel the frustration. Trinity got to the ropes in the Fujiwara armbar. She somehow kicked out of Queen's Gambit. She keeps on coming. That is the resilience of the athlete we know in Trinity. What's Perrazzo got in mind? Oh, not oh, this. Oh, Jordan Grace is That's back there. Right. This is what happened at Rebellion. And Trinity knows it too. Oh. Desperately fighting it off. Oh, now Trinity. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh! Down go Perrazzo and Trinity. And now Trinity trying to turn this over. That show is out for a moment. Oh, now Starstruck. Oh! Starstruck. Got it locked in here. Can the Virtuoso withstand it? Reaching for the ropes here. And look at this. Look at Trinity trying to tie up the
prove that betting on yourself pays off. This is Trinity's proof. Bet on yourself. Take that leap of faith. Absolutely stellar. Wow, I mean, huge congratulations for Trinity. We have a new Knockouts World Champion, and I'll, I'll just be honest, Josh, she's glowing. Absolutely, all the Knockouts will be looking to take Trinity down to become Knockouts World Champion here in Impact Wrestling. We got a lot more coming up, folks. This match will get us all started when Alan Angels goes one-on-one -on -one with Crazy Steve right here on BTI. But up next, it's our social media top five. Right back moment of the week. Iceman in telling more. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI. As you can see, I'm all alone. Gia lasted longer than Kevin Martin would have, but she's gonna go call the action with Tom Hannafin. And that match will get us started in just a little bit when Alan Angels goes one-on-one -on -one with Crazy Steve. But right now, we need to take a look back at what Impact was talking about this past week. We were trending all night long during Slammiversary. Here are the social media top five. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. We will see the return of Sonata at Emergence. Number four. Kenny King is the new digital media champion, or as he's calling it, the DMC. Number three. In a shocking turn of events, Subculture has become the new World Tag Team Champions. Number two. Welcome back to Josh Alexander as he returned at the end of Slammiversary to confront Alex Shelley. And at number one. Trinity dethroned the Virtuosa at Slammiversary and is the new Knockout World Champion. So from the top five to the not so top five, this is what somebody said about something that they didn't like, but we grabbed it, screenshot it before they can delete it, and we bring it to you. We call it the clapback moment of the week. The clapback moment of the week is. Um, I didn't expect to be involved in this clapback, uh, but Alicia Edwards, everyone. So what's exactly going on inside Impact Wrestling? What's happening behind the scenes? What's going down that you guys don't want to know about? You know who has all the intel? Iceman. Iceman, what do you have for us this week? Welcome to Iceman's Intel, I'm George Iceman. Let's get into it. As you can see, I am on location and I'm working on a story, a huge story that I'm gonna break for the world very soon. So follow me on Twitter at I am George Iceman. Let's get into Slammiversary. What an incredible show live on pay-per-view. If you missed it, here's your chance to order it on its replay. Check it out, it was incredible. And what happened at the end was shocking as we saw the walking weapon, Josh Alexander, return to confront Alex Shelley. He had two words to say, I'm back. But what does that mean? Well, tonight on the Impact Zone on Access, he is going to address exactly what he meant. Is he back full throttle? Is he coming back right away? Does he need a few, a few more weeks? We don't know. We're hoping to find out. So check it out tonight. Georgia, Alex Angel. Angel's 
Axel is excellent in Ultimate X. Ultimately, it was Kushida who walked out the winner and has a guaranteed future X Division title shot at a time of his choosing. But the celestial Alan Angels has shown a new side of himself as of late. Oh, yeah, we're seeing a different Alan Angels. He's a rock star. He's the celestial being, like you said. But I, I think Icarus might be flying a little too close to the sun. We're going to find out if he can handle Crazy Steve, a former Impact World Tag Team Champion. Alan Angel's trying to prove he's put the design in his past. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Crazy Steve next here on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. This is BTI. It's Crazy Steve one-on-one -on -one with Alan Angel's in a first-time ever matchup. Um, what's, what's happening here? Oh, he better not be messing with my girl. You understand? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. I'm serious. Yeah, do it. Right now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been demanded... Yes, do it! ...to introduce to you Windsor's favorite wrestler, Alan Angels. I don't know if Windsor agrees with that. Uh, I don't think so, and I really don't agree with him bullying my friend. Our ring announcer, Jennifer J. Chung, and now Crazy Steve's rolling out. Uh, oh, with the... oh, okay, looks like he's got something to say. Okay, I can't hear much of that right here. Crazy Steve would like to know if you would like for him to take Windsor's favorite wrestler and bite his face off. Yeah! Looks like they agree with that one. Bloodthirsty lot here in the in the border city. I thought Canadians were supposed to be polite. Well, they didn't necessarily like Eddie Edwards and Slammiversary. They're chanting Boston sucks quite a bit, but I yeah. think that was more on what Eddie and Alicia were doing throughout that matchup. Yeah, yeah. So now, Crazy Steve, trying to get closer and closer to biting the face off of Alan Angels, takes him down instead here early on. Uh oh, is it time? Uh-oh, evasion. Polite, but at least they're honest. Uh, Alan Angel's just trying to control Crazy Steve here, and uh, you were mentioning the Celestial Alan Angel. What do, you, what do you think of this new rock star Alan Angel we have? You know, I, I've got, actually gotten to know Alan Angel's pretty well. See, we're the same age. He's only 25. He's an incredible athlete, but he's still trying to find himself. I mean, he has found himself in a couple different groups, including Violent by Design, or the design yes. as we know it now. Oh. But now he's oh, finding himself in a precarious situation. I, but he says he tends to find himself when he's chasing that high. Hold on. Is it time for the bite? Oh, and Alan Angel's just trying to get out of the ring. Yeah, he says he wants the thrill. There's not going to be any thrill like getting your face bitten off. Uh, the thrill would be for Crazy Steve, I imagine. Now, Angel's ripping the canvas, ripping the apron, rather, out from underneath the feet of Crazy Steve and takes advantage. Drop kick there by Angels. And listen, there's no doubting the athletic ability of Alan Angels, G, but still, there's something about this new attitude of his that I can't tell if it's entirely spawned from his time in the design, if there's still some residual scarring there mentally on him. I'm not sure. I certainly think that that's possible, but I think this is something that existed long before that. I mean, he idolizes Nikki Six. He just keeps chasing after the next high. And there's no high, in his opinion, like picking up a win. 
And appears he's willing to do it by any means necessary. He dumped Crazy Steve outside the ring. Looked like Allen Angels would have been happy to take a count out victory. Don't know if I agree with that. Steve rolled back inside. Oh. Half and half suplex on the back of the head of Steve. Oh. Cover and a kick out by Crazy that Steve. gnarly. Yeah, he is willing to win by any means. You saw the low blows that he delivered at Slammiversary, right? Yeah, in Ultimate X, frankly, there, there were a lot of them. Man. And I understand it's a precarious match. It's a dangerous match. Uh, at the same time, he really didn't seem to have any issue uh, low-blowing multiple competitors that night. Yeah. Maintaining his control of Crazy Steve. The newly restored president of Impact Wrestling, Scott Demore, will be kicking us off at 8 p.m. Eastern on Access TV. Some great matchups still to come. First time ever bout between Kevin Knight and Jake Something, who also starred in Ultimate X. Speaking of which, man, who was great in Ultimate X, Alan Angels, thinking about another half and half suplex here. Crazy Steve able to stop it. Big shots. Now Crazy Steve's starting to find some windows of opportunity here against Allen Angels. Uh -oh. oh, and a big uppercut there by Steve. And now Steve with a cannonball. Ouch. Here's a cover to put away Allen Angels in a kick out. <laughs> Chance of biting his face here in Windsor. Yeah, Alan has talked about. Ooh. Ooh. And Angel's launching Steve face first into the top turnbuckle. Yeah, he's talked about spreading his wings. Oh. oh, and he just spread one right across the chest of Crazy Steve. Oh, oh trying to cave in the chest of Crazy Steve. Yeah. Oh. Steve oh. out of the corner. Uh oh. Oh, now Angel's just. Oh. Tastes like Halo. And now Crazy Steve trying to take control here and win this matchup. Out of the corner. Shoulders down for just a moment there. Oh, runs in and a flatliner. There's the cover, presses to shoulders. Down by the Angels, able to kick out. Oh, oh now, oh. going for the cross face. Center of the ring, this might be it. Angels trying to drag himself to the bottom rope and get away from Crazy Steve. And you can see where the official is right in front of this thing. And Angels gets his foot on the bottom rope. That'll break up the submission attempt. What is it going to take for Crazy Steve to end this thing and get a win? And Angel's holding on to the ropes. That's why the referee's getting in. Oh, 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 The Celestial, the rock star, Alan Angels picks up a win here on BTI. I got a here. question. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh let's hit baby. It. And that's a oh. oh. Heath dishing out his own brand of justice where he sees a wall. Great way to get the night started with so much action. That was just a taste, just a little appetizer of what's going to go down tonight over the next two hours. All eyes are on Bound for Glory, but we have so much happening here in Impact Wrestling. You've got Emergence right around the corner. You've got Multiverse United 2, for whom the bell tolls right around the corner. Impact 1000 in September. 
So much happening. Stay close to impactwrestling.com for all the details. I'm Josh Matthews. Thanks for joining us. This has been BTI. Impact Wrestling starts right now.